Oh, it's been one hell of a weekend. Jeremy Clarkson has yet again done something controversial, and it's so bad that even his daughter, Emily's come out to say that she doesn't stand by him. Oh, let's get into this in this video. But before we get into the video, go to grandtornation.com to keep up with all the news. We've already talked about this on the website. And if you like videos like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into this video. It's, oh, it's an exciting one. Okay, so the story begins Sunday morning. Jeremy Clarkson's latest column is published to The Sun, which is a British newspaper. Pretty shit, if you ask me. We've already talked about this a couple of times on the channel. But The Sun wasn't necessarily the one in the wrong here. They let the column be published, but what was written in the column was pretty bad. And it is... Wow, it's been a shitstorm. I'll tell you that now. So, Clarkson, talking about his amazing levels of hate for Meghan Markle, who is an actress, recently got married to Prince Harry, you know, the guy down the road in Buckinghamshire. Um, and she's come under a lot of fire recently, but Clarkson went all out in his recent column. He said, at night, I'm unable to sleep as I lie there grinding my teeth and dreaming of the day when she, Meghan, is made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. He continued, he said, everyone who's my age thinks the same way, but what makes me despair is that younger people, especially girls, think she's pretty cool. They think she was a prisoner of Buckingham Palace, forced to talk about nothing but embroidery and kittens. Now, this... I, I've got to admit, I thought that things like the Grand Tour and Clarkson's Farm, I thought it was going to be another Top Gear fracas. I'll tell you that now. I thought he was going to be cancelled or whatever the kids are saying these days. Uh, everyone went mad. His name was trending on Twitter, had almost 80,000 mentions on Twitter including Carol Vorderman. She posted this to Twitter saying, no, Jeremy Clarkson, not on any level, in any circumstance, is it okay to write this stuff about any woman and absolutely no to everyone who's my age thinks the same. No, no, no. We absolutely do not think the same. Listen to the noise, Jeremy. The crowds are chanting, shame on you. Yeah, I told you it was big. Another person on Twitter said, literally gobsmacked at the utterly vile and disgusting comments written about Meghan Markle by Jeremy Clarkson in The Sun. What an utter piece of trash he is. What is it with these types of men that triggers them so? Yeah, it, it was huge. It was huge. We wrote about this and it was the biggest, most popular article for a long time. 26,000 clicks just from Facebook. Um, that shows you how how much of a chord this has struck with people. So then, as if that wasn't enough, Jeremy Clarkson's daughter, Emily, who is very, um, she's got a good head on her. She's on Instagram. She's a kind of social media influencer, I suppose, but she's all for women's rights and equality. And uh, she says the right things. I've got to admit, I kind of agree with her here. She uh, put on a story saying, my views are and have always been clear when it comes to misogyny, bullying, and the treatment of women by the media. I want to make it very clear that I stand against everything that my dad wrote about Meghan Markle, and I remain standing in support of those that are targeted with online hatred. Now, she's said a lot in the past that she has been a target of online bullying, so it's no surprise that she's standing against Clarkson in this. And to be honest, the Clarkson column kind of came as a bit of a surprise. Usually he's very good at hiding his insults. He um, doesn't necessarily target an individual, but targets a group of people, for example, Prius owners, rightly or wrongly. But this, even for Clarkson, was pretty bad. I know Meghan Markle obviously gets to him. Uh... That's his opinion. Oh, but damn. He went in and I'm not sure it was the right thing to do, I'll admit. You know, we're all Clarkson fans here and because of that, I think he'll have a lot of support in this. I've already seen comments saying that, you know, people agree with him and that's completely fine. You're, you're perfectly allowed to have your opinion, but when it comes to uh, bullying online and a column that's seen by thousands of people, is it the right thing to do? I'm really not sure it is, especially with someone who has as much reach as Clarkson. So this happened Sunday morning, and it was a long day. I was here watching Twitter escalate. It escalated for, I mean, it, it went viral within 
an hour or two, a couple of hours. Uh, and then I was expecting Jeremy to tweet about it because it was this big, but he was tweeting about the football, which was apparently on. And then only today has he tweeted. I think it's a possibility that um, his PR team got involved because people were, were asking ITV where he hosts Who Wants to Be a Millionaire to fire him. I, I didn't see any, but I'm sure people may have been doing the same thing to Amazon. People were asking The Times and The Sun, two uh, outlets that he writes for, to fire him too. So obviously it's a bit of a PR shitstorm. So today he took to Twitter and he apologised in... <laughs> I mean, he kind of apologised. He kind of talked about it a bit. If you kind of read it in his voice, it uh, doesn't seem like much of an apology. But anyway, he said... Oh dear, I've rather put my foot in it. In a column I wrote about Megan, I made a clumsy reference to a scene in Game of Thrones, and this has gone down badly with a great many people. I'm horrified to have caused so much hurt, and I shall be more careful in future. It's an apology. It sounds like it was written by him and potentially the PR company uh, that, that helps him out. Uh, a lot of people are saying... It sounds disingenuous, which it likely does. Let's have a look on Twitter now and see what people are saying about it. So this one tweet... <laughs> shit. This one tweet got 18,000 replies and almost 40,000 clicks, and it was three hours ago at the time of recording this. So someone's reply saying, was this part of a scene in Game of Thrones? He wrote an entire article about Megan dying prior to this article. And they've screenshotted another column from The Sun where he writes, When she dies, hopefully many years from now, it's a nice thing, she will not be carried in front of millions by stoic men with good hearts and strong arms. If it's a slow news day, the best you'll get is a small obituary in The Times on page 27. Because her whole being is based on nothing at all, and we prefer people with a bit more stuff going on. I don't know, There's, there does seem to be a random amount of hatred coming, or a random amount of dislike, rather, coming from Jeremy. I feel like he just needs to let it go a little bit. Uh, someone else replies to that, saying, Afraid that doesn't address a rather pertinent question of your lunch with the Queen Consort and his... What? And this column on its heels? There appears to be a systemic pattern of abuse coming from those quarters. There has been not even cursory pretense at distance in its wake. What? Someone else says, oh dear, you forgot to apologise in your apology. He did do that, yes. He didn't actually say sorry. Wow, someone else says, you're a garbage person and a bad liar. Oh no, I've just seen that Top Gear's trending. What's Top Gear done? Someone says, I used to like Jeremy Clarkson. Top Gear slash Grand Tour is amusing and he's anti-Brexit, but what he's written about Meghan is disgusting and possibly career-ending. I don't think it will be career ending, not now. Amazon loves them too much. Clarkson's Farm is far too popular to be cancelled. Yes, you could say that Top Gear was too when it was cancelled by the BBC, but come on, look at the look at the backlash that's got. I don't think Amazon, being a private company, not supported by British taxpayers, um, they're, they're no way in hell going to stop anything such as Clarkson's Farm or the Grand Tour. Obviously, Jeremy went too far with this, obviously. I don't condone any sort of online bullying. Um, you know, once in a while, I get comments on here, uh, you know, trying to like, I don't know, bullying or intimidating or whatever, whatever they're trying to do, I don't know. Um, and it's not very nice to wake up in the morning and see them. And that's like two, that's two comments uh, about a man, me, who doesn't mean anything online. So... Imagine being Megan, waking up to a comment like that with thousands, if not tens, hundreds of thousands of people agreeing. It's got to be pretty bad. Whatever your opinions are on Megan and Harry and the scenario that they've put themselves in now, keep them to yourself. It, they really don't have to be plastered all, all over Twitter, all over Facebook. It's great to have opinions. That is the fun of having a free world, but no need to, to voice them. That's all I'm going to say. Interesting video. <laughs> Interesting video. You know, this is 
This is a complicated one for GCN and me because obviously we support the Grand Tour and support Jeremy Clarkson and Hammond and May. But when he does something like this, it's very difficult to choose where we stand as fans of them, um, as fans of him. You know, we've got to report on it. We've got to talk about it. We don't have to agree with it. You know, please, if you're going to comment on the video, don't start harassing bullying we've just had enough of that now and um, the world is a better place without it keep it to yourself you can tell yourself all you want but try not to make it so visible we've got some fun stuff coming on the channel soon so like and subscribe i know another serious video oh let me know what you think in the comments i'll uh i'll try and reply to as many as possible see you in the next one